It's time now for High School Basketball on Facebook Live from WKLM FM 95.3. Coming up next, we'll join Matt Croy with Before the Tip, sponsored by Village Motors. This is High School Basketball on FM 95.3 WKLM. Eleven overall, they're zero and seven in the IVC South. Stay tuned for the pregame show on WKLM. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going. With tightening budgets and resources, schools face a daunting task these days, providing young people with all they need to equip them for the years ahead. Denko Marketing in Millersburg urges you to support our students and youth in whatever way you can. Whether it's the giving of your time and experience or donating items for use by educators, groups, or clubs, everyone can make a difference. Denko Marketing of Millersburg hopes you're giving back to the young people of today. Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. If you're a business or do-it-yourselfer looking for the best possible siding for your home or office, then stop by MRV Siding Supply. They offer the number one rated panel on the market, Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia. Cedar Max provides outstanding performance inside and out with impact resistance, impervious to moisture, flame retardant, and noise reduction, giving you peace of mind. For Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia, Call MRV Siding Supply at 800-524-7436. Visit them on the web at mrvsiding.com. You can now shop True Value Hardware at Homes Lumber in Millersburg. In fact, it's the only True Value store in Holmes County. They have added literally thousands of items to their inventory, including Easy Care Paint, making it easy for you to find everything you need for your next project. Holmes Lumber is located on State Route 39 between Millersburg and Berlin. Behind every project is a true value. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. You've heard interest rates are low, but what does that mean? This is Jeanette Troyer with CSB, and this means it's a great time to buy or build a home, make home improvements, or refinance your mortgage. Refinancing with a lower interest rate could shave years off your loan or even lower your monthly mortgage payment. You can also use this opportunity to complete the home improvement projects you have been dreaming about. Call or text your local expert at 800-654-9015 to learn how you could take advantage of low interest rates. The Commercial and Savings Bank Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Broman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, business, and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman & Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222. Before the Tip is brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. At Village Motors in Millersburg, we're all about service, literally. This is Deke Miller, and our service department will help you take care of your investment in a new or pre-owned vehicle. Trained and professional, our service staff cares about your vehicle as much as you do, and their workmanship will keep it in tip-top shape or fully repaired if needed. Find out what full service really means when you trust us, the people who care about you, Village Motors in Millersburg. Bullside Highland Hawks at basketball, Coach Mark Schlabel coming off the 59-57 loss to Perry. And, of course, the Maslin in that last contest, Mark. And really, uh, you know, like uh, your team's fight there at the end of the game, coming back out, scoring Perry, I think, 21-12 in that final quarter, but just pulling a bit short. Yeah, you know, kind of been, uh, you know, we've been in that situation a bunch of times, it feels like, this year. And, um, yeah, we, we fought hard in the end, but, uh, you know, it wasn't one of our best all-around games. And we'd had a nice 
uh, game against Garraway the night before, and we were just starting to get on a roll. And you know, that's kind of been the story of our season too. We just can't uh, can't quite put it all together, uh, you know, four quarters or or two games in a row type of thing. But uh, we're still fighting. You certainly are fighting, competing. Uh, you kind of uh, have plenty of competition inside your conference this year. But when you step out of the conference and play teams like Perry, like Triway, even in losses, what, are there things maybe you can learn about your team that can help you going forward? Yeah, I mean, I've always thought that's been the key to our tournament success is our you know, schedule that we, we put our guys through. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, we believe in it. We're going to play the best teams we can possibly play. And, uh, you know, this year we just we haven't gotten a big win in one of those games yet. All right, you're taking on Claiborne on the road tonight. Of course, you beat them at uh, your place earlier this season. What do you remember about that game, and what are you expecting here tonight? Well, it was, it was a lot closer than the final score. You know, they were ahead of us at the end of the first quarter. Um, until late in the second quarter, we never had a lead. So, um, And their point guard, Connor Lynch, was missing that night. So, you know, Claymont is a deceptive team. You know, just here recently, they, they beat Strasburg, who's winning the other side of the IBC. They knocked off West Holmes, who is having a great year. So, you know, I think... You know, their record is a, a little bit just they had some kids out early and they're a lot better than what their record says. With that said, Mark, what's the things maybe you have to do here tonight? Well, tempo is going to be huge. You know, we, we want the game to be a little faster than, than Claymont. Uh, we've got to try to wear their guards down some. And then, you know, I, we've told our guys we think they're a top three rebounding team that we'll play all year. Uh, you know, take that in the tournament, wherever. You know, they are a great rebounding team. So a lot of this game is going to come down to whether or not we can get defensive rebounds. Health-wise, how's the team doing at this point, Mark? Uh, right now, pretty good. You know, we, we're, we've we been lucky. You know, our our kids have done a great job with COVID stuff, and uh, we, we've we been healthier this year than, than than we've been pretty much any year that I can remember, knock on wood. But, uh, but yeah, so we're, you know, as healthy as we're going to be here right now. Mark, thanks for your time. Good luck tonight. All right, thank you. Let's voice the Highland Hawks head basketball coach, Mark Slayball. Before the Tip has been brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. If you're thinking about retiring, you probably have a lot of questions. How do you make your savings last? How much should you take out and when? You are ready for retirement, but are your finances? I'm Rob Hovis with Edward Jones Investments in Millersburg. Let's work together to help ensure that your finances can keep up with your own needs over the long haul. You've done what it takes to get there. Now it's time to make the most of retirement. Stop by my office at 212 North Washington Street. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Live the life you want at Danbury Senior Living. Danbury is delighted to introduce you and your family to some of the finest senior living. We offer amenities that today's seniors expect for comfort, support, and security. Let us be your home for the next chapter in your life or your loved ones in our spacious one- and two-bedroom apartments. Located on Portage Road in Worcester, stop in for a tour today. Meet our staff and residents and find out why they love calling Danbury of Worcester home. Even though COVID-19 is still a threat, your cooperative is as committed as ever to keeping the power on. So you can do your job by staying home and staying safe. Disinfect high-touch surfaces frequently and check in on your neighbors and loved ones often. You've got the power to make a difference and you can count on us to be here for you every day. Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative, celebrating 85 years of service to this great community. At Village Motors in Millersburg, we're all about service, literally. This is Deke Miller and our service department will help you take care of your investment in a new or pre-owned vehicle. Trained and professional, our service staff cares about your vehicle as much as you do and their workmanship will keep it in tip-top shape or fully repaired if needed. Find out what full service really means when you trust us, the people who care about you, Village Motors in Millersburg. Melway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964, specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call so you can worry about more important things like finding a new favorite shirt. 
That's simple human sense. Visit Humble Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester today at HumbleGRP.com. Three to 37 in that game. Claymont actually led 13-12 after the first quarter. However, two big quarters in the second and third for Highland, able to allow them to get that win as Highland would outscore Claymont 21 to 11 in that uh, second quarter. They would take a 32 to 24 lead at halftime. Highland outscoring Claymont 20 to 7 in the third quarter, and Highland grabbed a 52 to 31 lead through three, and the Hawks go on to win it by a final score of 63 to 37. In that game, Highland led in scoring by Will Schlebel as he had 20 points, 13 points scored by Dylan Weaver. In that game as well, 8 points for Grant Miller. For Claymont in the loss, led by Brady Milburn, he had 14 points and also 4 points scored by Murphy White, 3 apiece for Corey Edwards as well as Graydon Mooneyham, 7 points for Andrew uh, Rectanus and four points for Keith Watkins in the game. Also worthy uh, bringing up, Mark Stable mentioned it during the pregame interview that their starting point guard, Connor Lynch, did not play in the earlier meeting against the Hawks. Again, Highland a winner in that previous meeting this season over Claymont by a score of 63-37. to Stay tuned, more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Since 1975, Kaufman Realty and Auctions has been an industry pioneer in real estate at auction. This is Anthony Kaufman. Some companies come and go, and some experience ownership changes, but Dave Kaufman has owned and overseen every aspect of his company. During that time, Kaufman Realty and Auctions has grown and expanded to meet increasing customer needs while always staying on the cutting edge of technology and giving back to the community. Rooted in tradition, growing through innovation, we are Kaufman Realty and Auctions in Millersburg, Sugar Creek, New Philadelphia, Cambridge, and at KaufmanRealty.com. The Pizza Parlor 2 in Kilbuck is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. If you don't want to cook on game day, give them a call at 330-276-5661. They prepare their own homemade crust topped with their own special pizza sauce and your own choice of toppings. You can also order appetizers, sandwiches, their famous original subs, basket combos, and garden fresh salads. You don't have to get out of your car because they have a convenient drive through to pick up your order. Call today, 330-276-5661. I'm Tiffany Stefano and I am a Park National Banker and I am a community board member at Park National Bank. We believe we're more than just our job titles and you are more than an account number. Now bringing our family and community banks together under a single brand name means you get those core values you've always counted on from us. And more service, more access, more options. We are all together now at Park National Bank where you mean more. When choosing a new door to replacing your windows or siding, there are many types of materials to choose from. Hi, my name is Nevin Mast. Here at Home Siding in Millersburg, we will help you make the right choice for your home and style. Want an energy-efficient replacement window? Try the Vywinko line of vinyl windows. With energy-efficient technology, Vywinko vinyl windows will save you money on energy costs and over time will pay for themselves. Call Home Siding Contractors today to set up a free in-home consultation at 888-725-6619. That's 888-725-6619. One nine. With the 63-49 loss, that was at home to Toledo Christian. Then won three games in a row over ISC Prep, 56-41, a 61-53 win at home over Garraway, and won 63-37, of course, over Claymont. Then a loss to Tuskegee Valley by a score of 34-32 at the Reese Center. They won over Indian Valley, 51-40, and then a 68-51 loss at Northwestern, followed by a win over St. Thomas Aquinas by a score of 64-52. Lost to Wayne Dill by a score of 49-46. Came back and got two wins in a row over Ridgewood on a buzzer beater by Will Schleyball. Won 51-49 at Ridgewood. 47-44 win also at Sandy Valley. Then lost at Triway 63-54. A 60-51 win at Garraway. And lost by two points in the last game on a buzzer beater. And a winner by Perry 59-57. Uh, and that Perry win over the Hawks in that last contest at North Canton Hoover. Highland has a record of 8-6 on the season. For Claymont. Began their season with the loss to Carrollton, then won over Fairless, 55-29. Then after that, uh, victory over Fairless in that game. They would go seven, make the eight straight losses after that with losses to TCC, Sandy Valley, of course, Highland, 
Also, Ridgewood, Garraway, Indian Valley, New Philadelphia, and Tusky Valley during that stretch. Then got a win over Stralsburg by a score of 40 to 36. Stralsburg, of course, uh, top team in the IVC North. So this is a Claymont team. A lot of losses on their column as far as the record is concerned, but they've played a lot of teams very tough this season, including, including that the big win over Stralsburg. Lost to West Holmes, who's had a good season this year, but only lost by five points, 58-53 in that game, and then got a loss to Sydney Valley in their last contest by three points by a score of 51-48. Claymont has a record of 2-11. Highland averaging 53 points per contest. Claymont averaging 46 a game. Defensively, the Hawks allowing 50.2 points per contest, while the Mustangs allow 50.6 a game on the defensive end. In the IVC North Division, Highland in first place at 6-1. Tusky Valley just below that uh, by percentage points at 5-1 in IVC South Division play. Then it's Ridgewood at 5-2. Garraway is 3-4. Sydney Valley 3-4. Indian Valley is 2-5. Claymont is 0-7. Against IVC South Division opponents, Highland averaging just below 60 a game. Claymont averaging 44.7 a game. And also the Hawks allowing 49.7 a game defensively in the IVC South, while Claymont gives up 54 points per contest on the defensive end. In the IVC North Division, Stralsburg in first place at 7-0. TCC is 4-1, Malvern 4-2, Buckeye Trail 3-3, East Canton 1-3, Connaughton Valley 1-6, Newcomerstown is 0-5. In the OCC, Worcester's in first place at 5-0. Ashland is 5-1, West Thomas 4-2, Mount Vernon 2-4, Mansfield Senior 1-1, Lexington 0-5, Madison is 0-4. Overall around the area in boys basketball, West Holmes is 10-2, Waynedale 9-2, Triway is 7-2, Lanonville 7-7, Garraway is 4-6, Central Christian has a record of 4-6, and, and Danville is 1-11. Stay tuned, more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. For all your, your heating needs this winter, call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Rheem Pro partner, with combined knowledge of over 65 years, you know that you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Rheem and all types of other furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call today, 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. This is Jim Smucker, president of Kime in downtown Charm, Ohio, where we have over 135 species of domestic and exotic woods in stock every day. It's no wonder our customers refer to us as a woodworker's paradise. Browse a unique selection of live edge slabs, dimensional lumber, and turning blanks. In our store, you'll find instrument wood and specialty tools to help you get the job done right. We also carry Ecopoxy products, the perfect finishing touch for your next river table. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Carnington Lincoln. McRoy alongside Brandon Bencher for tonight's broadcast. Highland on the road against Claymont. Claymont 2 and 11. Highland 8 and 6. And Highland in first place in the IVC South, Brandon. But this is a Claymont team that really is much better than what the record indicates. Absolutely. And you had mentioned that they played a lot of really tough games and, and gotten close, but just couldn't quite get that victory there. And of course, the difference between this game and the last one, Connor Lynch being available, is a big deal for this Claymont team. No question about that. We'll see what happens for tonight. We'll take another break and come back as Brandon Bencher will have tonight's starting lineups. And then the opening tip on WKLM. Fox's Pizza Den in Millersburg is looking for smiling faces to join their team. Part-time positions are available for pizza makers, customer service providers, and delivery drivers. Most jobs are for evening and weekends. Successful candidates will have the following skills. The ability to work in a team environment. Excellent communication skills. Be punctual and dependable. And delivery drivers must have a valid driver's license, an acceptable driving record, proof of insurance, and a satisfactory vehicle. Mileage reimbursements are paid daily. Drivers retain all tips they receive. Apply at the store at 42 North Grant Street. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. 
Trying to decide if now is the right time to stop renting and purchase a home? Ask yourself a few questions. Are you ready to settle down? Can you afford to pay for repairs and maintenance costs? For many people, the decision comes down to what you can afford at the moment. At the Killbuck Savings Bank, our expert lenders are here to help you make one of the biggest decisions of your life. Everyone has different needs. Our job is to listen to your story and help determine the best way to turn the page on your life's journey. The Killbuck Savings Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. With tightening budgets and resources, schools face a daunting task these days, providing young people with all they need to equip them for the years ahead. Denko Marketing in Millersburg urges you to support our students and youth in whatever way you can. Whether it's the giving of your time and experience or donating items for use by educators, groups, or clubs, everyone can make a difference. Denko Marketing of Millersburg hopes you're giving back to the young people of today. Denko Marketing of Millersburg. Where the business at hand is the business of home. It could be rain, it could be snow, but whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not As you hug the turn, you see a storm brewing up ahead. It could be rain, it could be snow, but whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT Geo 15 on your side. Stop by Homes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction, designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT Geo 15 at Homes Tire LLC today and get ready to experience what all terrain is all about. Stop by Homes Tire LLC today and fill out a finance application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Homes Tire LLC in Millersburg, 330-674-0025 or their other locations in Spencer, 330-648-2401 and Mount Vernon, 740-392-1811. Here's Brandon Venter. Thank you, Matt. We'll start off with the visiting Highland Hawks. They'll be led by their point guard here, a 5'8 junior, averaging 4.6 points and two rebounds a game. Number 15, Grant Miller. Also another guard, a 5'10 senior, averaging 18 points and four rebounds a game. Number 10, Will Schleyball. Getting a start at the three guard is a 5'8 senior, averaging 1.2 points and 2.5 uh, rebounds a game. Number 25, Trey Troyer. Starting at the other guard position is a six-foot junior, num averaging seven points and three rebounds a game. Tony Yoder. And then finally the forward, a 6'2 senior, averaging 10 points and 5.8 rebounds a game. Number 35, Ryan Miller. And the Highland Hawks are 8-6 and six overall. They're in first place at 6-1 in the IVC South. They're coached by Mark Schlabel in his 16th season. And for the home team, the Claymont Mustangs, their guard is number five, Connor Lynch, unable to play in the game against Highland last time, but he is a junior getting the start today. Also getting the start today and scoring four points in the last game against Highland is the junior, number two, Cade Watkins. Starting also is a guard, a senior, averaging, had four points last time against Highland with number 14, Murphy White. Also getting the start tonight, number 31, a senior, averaging, or got seven points in that game against Highland, Andrew Reck. Rectinus. And then also a post player down low. The forward is, he scored two points last game against Highland, a senior, number 52, Gavin Pavic. And Clayma Mustangs are 2 11 overall. They're 0 7 in the IVC South. They're coached by Gary Watkins. And the starting one is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body. They have experts in collision repair and paint jobs and will have your car looking brand new. They'll even pay up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call, 674 14. 83. Matt Croy, Brandon Bencher, and also it is Eric Marma back at WKLM Sports Central. Also, we have the game tonight on Facebook Live. Of course, Claxon Communications providing that for you. Fred Williams and John Williams with our Facebook Live feed as you can watch the game along with the broadcast this evening. Already for the contest, Highland wins the toss score right to left in the first half of play. With the basketball, Highland wearing their black jerseys, black shorts, and red dribbles and red and white trim. Three-pointer for the right wing by Will Stables up and good. And the Hawks strike first. Will Stable knocking it down from deep, a 3-0 lead. Big time shot for Will Schlaboff. He's feeling it. He's a dangerous scorer in any game. Mustangs going left to right with it in the first half. Wearing their home white jerseys, white shorts, and also brown numerals and orange trim. Goes to the corner of the pass near side to Rectanus. He'll shovel it inside. Stolen away by Ryan Miller. That's a turnover on the Mustangs. Back the other way with the basketball. Trey Troyer dribbles it to the baseline. Pass it inside. Nice look to Trey Troyer who missed the layup. Rebound going to be hauled inside on that board. And it was by G Gavin Pavic. Claymont into the front court. Here's the dribble. Down 3-0. On the right wing. Spinning around. Falling down. Murphy White picks it back up. Gets a pass out top to Gavin Pavic now. On the right point. Back to Murphy White. 
White the senior, dribbles it, spins around to the foul line, to the lane, shovels it inside. Nice look, finds his teammate. That's going to be Andrew Rickenis, who banks it up and in. Great assist there, found the man right down that left block, and he was able to finish for two. 3-2 lead for Highland. They had the basketball. Over, a little over a minute to play into this uh, first quarter. Pass goes out top. Will Stable has three quarters up. Going to be in and out. No good this time. Rebound going to be picked up inside by Murphy White. He'll take it across the timeline for Claymont. Down 3-2. Six and a half to play in the first quarter. White in the corner. Bounce pass goes to the right block to Pavic. He'll shovel it out top. Now received by White on the near side. Looking, looking, cross court pass goes near side over to Cade Watkins. His three pointers up, going to be off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Ryan Miller. Highland basketball going the other way. Trey Troyer across the half court line. His pass near mid court goes to Tony Yoder. Out top of the pass, Grant Miller. Now he'll shovel it back to Will Stable on the right wing. Into the corner to Ryan Miller now. He'll dribble it to the foul line. Bump, no foul. Out top, Grant Miller. Left wing, Will Stable. Stable to the baseline. He's cut off. Pass out top. Goes to Ryan Miller. Back to Stable. Stable drives to the baseline. His shot's up. Going to be no good. Some contact. And they'll call him for the charge. Stable running into Murphy White. That'll be the first team foul in Highland. And Stable has his first and also the first turnover on the Hawks. Yeah, credit Murphy White. He was able to get in position, set his feet, and took that charge perfectly. Highland used to do that to the other teams. And that time, they might do it to them. And full court pressure is on by Highland. Up 3-2. Six minutes to play in the first. Embedded and grabbed in the backcourt by Watkins. Back over to Hunter Lynch in the backcourt. The junior point guard, Lynch, will dribble it across the half-four line. And he'll take it to the right wing. Lynch down to the corner. Takes it to the baseline. And his pass goes cross court to the other side. Over to Murphy White. White backs it up to the left wing. Directing traffic. And works off the screen set by Pavic. Down to the foul line. White to the lane, his shot off the glass, no good, but he will draw a blocking foul, backpedaling on that play inside Ryan Miller. Second team foul in Highland, Miller has his first two free throws down for Murphy White. Miller tried his hardest to get out of the way and be back far enough, but he was just too much speed there for Murphy White as he was coming towards the bucket. White had uh, four points for the senior in that earlier meeting against Highland this season at the recenter. Free throw here going to be knocked down. Murphy White has his first point. We're tied up for the first time at three apiece. Stay tuned immediately following the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLN. It's brought to you by Rhodey's IGA Marketplace. And it will be Eric Marmot reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. White makes both free throws. It'll be the first lead now for Claymont at 4-3. Hawks basketball, Will Stable calls out the play. Now to Ryan Miller, out top of the pass. Trey Troyer now has it. Troyer lobs the left wing now to Kendall Mullet in the game. Lost the basketball, saves it, however, into the hands of uh, Tony Yoder. Yoder to the foul line. Juggles it, out top, Will Stable. He'll take it to the foul line, kick it right wing, Trey Troyer. His three-pointer's up, no good. Rebound knocked out top to Will Stable. Drive, lane, Stable has it knocked away, but a foul is going to be called. And that'll be the first team foul on Claymont coming in this first quarter of action. And they're going to call that, I believe, in the act of shooting, so two free throws here for Will Stable. Call that on Gavin Pavic, his first. Yeah, bit, very important offensive rebound there for Will Stable, setting up this foul, and now a chance for two. Lines it up, free throw going to be up and knocked down. Will Stable has all four points for Highland. We're tied up for the second time at four apiece. And for Stable, leading scorer, of course, for the Hawks. 5'10", senior guard, averaging 18 a game and just over four rebounds per contest and a 73% free throw shooter. Second free throw is good, makes them both. He has five, and Highland has a 5-4 advantage. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game as that player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subways in Millersburg. Focal pressure is on as Shecky Dan going to be Isaac Stable for the Hawks. Here's the dribble across the timeline by White. White to the foul line, kicks the right corner. Three-pointer going to be high in the air by Pavic. He'll knock it down. Gavin Pavic with that bucket makes it a 7-5 claim on advantage. Pavic's a bigger player. You might not expect him to shoot those threes, but that was a beautiful shot. What a shot from the corner. Looked pretty good. Third lead change in this first quarter. Highland has the basketball. Out top, Isaac Stable. Left wing to Grant Miller. Now to the left block, goes inside to Ryan Miller. He'll back it in. Cross court pass, too hard. Skips into the hands now of Kendall Mullet. Mullet to the foul line. Kicks the right wing, back over to Isaac Stable. Back in the left wing, Grant Miller. Into the corner now, grabbed by Kendall Mullet. Out top, goes over to Tony Yoder. Yoder dribbles the corner, dribbles it left wing. Kicks it out top, Grant Miller. Back in the right wing to Kendall Mullet. Into the corner to Isaac Stable. Will Stable off the floor now. Nice look, right block to Ryan Miller, who missed the layup. His rebound and put back is good, however, on the second attempt by Ryan Miller, his first two, and we're tied up at seven. Third tie of this first quarter, Claymont has the basketball. 
And White has a poke loose by a diving Isaac Stable. He'll get the steal. Hands off to Grant Miller. His lap, no good. Rebound grabbed out of bounds by Grant Miller. It'll go right back to Claymont. That was the second turnover on the Mustangs, but they dodge a bullet. And have you heard yet? The Beach Club Tanning Salon has added a new location in Millersburg to go along with their Berlin shop. Open every day except Sunday at both locations at the Beach Club Tanning Salon in Millersburg and Berlin. Full court pressure on again by the Hawks. Man to man press. Murphy White inbounds the basketball in the backcourt. Received by Brady Milburn, the senior. Had 14 points against the Hawks the first time around. He'll dribble it across the half court line. Pass goes out top now to Corey Edwards. Guarded by Dylan Weaver, who's in the game now for Highland. Back at the left wing to Murphy White. Looking. Dribbles it. Pass goes out top. Chased down by Connor Lentz between the circles. Lynch holds onto it. Now dribbles it against Grant Miller to the foul line. And has it stripped away by Dylan Weaver. Weaver the other way for the Hawks. Goes to the bucket. Weaver with the layup. Going to be no good, but he'll be hacked in the arm by Connor Lynch. They came after the third Claymont turnover. Second team foul on the Mustangs as well. And Lynch has his first personal foul. Great defensive effort by Dylan Weaver. Just strips the ball away. Takes it all the way to the other end. But as you said, able to draw that foul. Dylan Weaver, six foot one junior guard, averaging just over eight points per game and three rebounds per contest. A 62% free throw shooter. Free throw going to be up and knocks it down. His first point tonight. Highland back in the lead at eight to seven. Four lead changes in this first quarter and three ties. Stop in and see TMK Farmer Service for all your animal and pet needs with locations in Berlin, Sugar Creek, Holmesville, and New Bedford. Second free throw knocked down as well by Dylan Weaver. He has two. Highland has a two point lead. Pressure on, he'll back it off off the, the inbounds pass, goes to Connor Lynch. He'll work it against Will Stable. He's back in the ballgame. Lynch across the half goal line. Dribbles between the circles, pass goes to the left wing. Far off side over to Corey Edwards, holds onto it. Pass out top to Lynch now. Back in the right wing to Pavic. Pavic to the foul line. Lane spins around. His shot up off the glass, going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Dylan Weaver. Highland basketball now with Will Stable across the half goal line. Dribbles it out top. Now to the right wing, backs it up. Head fake, pass out top to Weaver now. Around the perimeter goes left wing now to Grant Miller. Miller, pass cross court, goes to Will Stable. His three-pointers up are going to be off the mark. Rebound corralled by Brady Milburn. Mustangs basketball, they trail by two. Milburn across the timeline. Dribbles against Isaac Stable, picks it up. Nowhere to go with it. Finally, pass goes into the hands of Murphy White, high on the right side. He's guarded by Grant Miller. White to the baseline, to the bucket. Spins around, right block, his shot up no good, but he drew some contact. And Murphy White, after that foul call on Grant Miller, 13 foul on the Hawks. Grant Miller has his first personal foul. Now two free throws for Murphy White. Heads up play by Murphy White. He found himself under the basket and just jumped into the defense there, drew that contact, and now gets a chance for two free throws. He is two for two for the charity stripe. Two points for him overall. And he'll have the opportunity to try this tie, try and tie this game up. 2.35 to play in the first quarter. And the free throw is going to be up and going to be knocked down. Three points for White. Stop in for weekly specials along with a great selection of the deli, meat, and produce departments. For a fresh arrangement of flowers, check out the Posty Plaid Floral Shop. And also, before you sign up, uh, stop in and sign up for Rudy's Rewards Card at Rudy's IGA Marketplace in Middlesbrough. Both of those are good by White. We are tied up at nine apiece. Fourth tie of this first quarter. Two and a half to play. Grant Miller with the basketball. Pass goes to the Caden Miller. His three-pointer high in the air. Going to be in and out. No good. Rebound by Dylan Weaver. His putback is no good. Rebound this time grabbed by Milburn, and he'll be fouled by Dylan Weaver. 14 foul on Highland, and Weaver will have for him his first personal foul. Tied up at nine apiece. 2.21 to play in this first quarter. On the fourth for Highland, Tony Yoder, also Grant Miller, Will Stable, Isaac Stable, and Ryan Miller. They'll have the man-to-man -man press on. Embedded and grabbed now by Murphy White. He'll dribble it against Grant Miller across the timeline. White dribbles it, now spins around to the foul line, to the lane. His shot left hand going to be good. Murphy White took it all the way. He now has six and an 11-9 lead for Claymont. Five lead changes now in the first half. Hawks with the basketball. Here's Grant Miller's pass. Goes to Ryan Miller on the left point. Back to Grant Miller on the right point area. He'll dribble it. Pass goes left wing now to Will Stable to the foul line on the dribble. Now to Ryan Miller. Back to Will Stable in the corner. Stable spins around. He'll find Isaac Stable on the left wing. He'll dribble it. Cross court pass goes to Grant Miller on the right side. Back in the left point. Over to Will Stable. Stable to the corner. Backs it up. Finds Isaac Stable. His three-pointer going to be up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound going to be hauled in by Corey Edwards. And a foul called as well. See what the foul is going to be. I believe they're going to call that foul actually on Claymont. It's going to be uh, 
push off to get that board. The 13th foul on the Mustangs in this first quarter. Yeah, tough break there for Cade Watkins. Got, got called for the shove there down low, but Highland another chance here to try to get these points. His first personal foul. Ball in that around the foul circle goes to Tony Yoder. Back in the left corner, Will Stable. His three footers up are going to be off the mark. Rebound ripped down by Ryan Miller. Hands it off to Trey Choyer, and they're calling him for traveling. Hmm. So a turnover on the Hawks, that'll be their second. A tough break after a great offensive board for Ryan Miller. And he was in disbelief after that call. But it will be a full court pressure on by the Hawks again. Again, just sporting the man-to-man -man press. And right now the Mustangs have an 11-9 advantage. They have the ball. Cade Watkins across the timeline. And the point guard dribbles it right wing. Picks it up, looking, kicks it out off to Murphy White. He'll back it up between the circles. Guarded by Trey Troyer. Dribbles it to the right wing. White pass goes to the corner. Received on the near side by Andrew Rectanus. Back right on the foul line to Milburn. His 15-footer no good. Rebound slapped away and chased down by Will Stable. Stable across the timeline for the Hawks. Under a minute to play in the first quarter. Now to Isaac Stable. Drive to the lane. His stay up off the last in good. <laughs> with authority, Stable with that bucket. We're tied up at 11. What a move for Isaac Stable. He found a lane and just took it all the way down there and knocked it in for two. Fifth tie in the first quarter. Here's the drive on the other end. Layup going to be good as well with authority. That's Brady Milburn with that bucket. Now a 13-11 Claymont lead. Claymont right back with an answer. This is a great game so far. Milburn has his first two. 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. Hawks have it. Here's Will Stable. Drive. Lane. Runner going to be up. Going to be off the last. No good. Rebound tipped up in the air. Finally pulled down by Murphy White. Dribbles against pressure of Ryan Miller. Now takes it across the timeline. White to the foul line, spins around, knocked loose, and on the four, finally stolen away by Troy Yoder. who will have a poke loose out of bounds, but off of Claymont, and Highland will have the ball. After that Claymont turnover, their fourth of this first quarter with 13.8 seconds to play. Hawks trailing by a pair. Embedded by Tony Yoder in the backcourt to Will Stable. He'll walk it across the timeline, 10 seconds to play in the first. Stabo out top, seven seconds, drive, pass to the corner, Isaac Stabo, his three pointers up are going to be knocked down. Hawks take a one-point lead as time expires in the first quarter. Through one period from Claymont, it's Highland 14 and Claymont 13. This is IVC Basketball on WKLM. Trying to decide if now is the right time to stop renting and purchase a home? Ask yourself a few questions. Are you ready to settle down? Can you afford to pay for repairs and maintenance costs? For many people, the decision comes down to what you can afford at the moment. At the Killbuck Savings Bank, our expert lenders are here to help you make one of the biggest decisions of your life. Everyone has different needs. Our job is to listen to your story and help determine the best way to turn the page on your life's journey. The Killbuck Savings Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. If you're a business or do-it-yourselfer looking for the best possible siding for your home or office, then stop by MRV Siding Supply. They offer the number one rated panel on the market, Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia. Cedar Max provides outstanding performance inside and out with impact resistance, impervious to moisture, flame retardant, and noise reduction, giving you peace of mind. For Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia, call MRV Siding Supply at 800 524 7436. Visit them on the web at MRVSiding.com. First quarter numbers courtesy of Brandon Mentor. Highless 2 for 8 on 3 point tries for just 25%. Claim on 1 for 2 for 50%. As we're all ready for the second quarter of play. Claim on basketball and bass, bounce pass by Connor Lynch goes to the near corner. Now the dribble by Brady Milburn. His 15 footers up. They're going to be knocked down. Brady Milburn now has four points, and now a 15-14 Claymont lead. That's the seventh lead change in this first half. Back and forth we go as Will Stable has it across the half goal line and dribbles it to the right wing. Hands it off to Trey Troyer. Troyer hands it off to Isaac Stable, drive to the bucket. His layup is going to be good. Isaac Stable looks like he's ready to play tonight. He has seven points, Highland a one-point lead. When he takes off, he gets up to speed so fast, and he's already under the basket before you know it, and right there he's able to knock it in for two again. And Claymont basketball, here's Lynch out top. Pass goes to the far side to Corey Edwards. He'll back it up high on the left. Edwards, back near the mid-core line area at center circle. Shovels it back on the left wing. Grabbed by Rectanus. Back in the corner, received by Milburn. Looking, cross court pass goes right point over to Mooningham. Dribbles it to the lane, nowhere to go with it. He'll kick it right wing. Received now by Connor Lynch again. Lynch around the perimeter, dribbles it to the foul circle. And the pass goes inside to Pavic. He'll back it in. Pavic inside the paint. His shot up going to be no good. Rebound received by Ryan Miller. 
Good defense by Miller, who had a hand in uh, Pavic's face. Now Will Stable across the half goal line. Dribbles it. Hands it off behind him to Tony Yoder. Now to Isaac Stable. He'll kick it out top to Trey Troyer. Back in the right wing to Tony Yoder. Yoder backs it up. Shovels it to Trey Troyer. Around the perimeter. Back in the left wing to Isaac Stable. Drive to lane. His layup going to be no good. He'll call a blocking foul as well. Inside, it'll be uh, slapped on Brady Milburn. That'll be the 14th foul on Claymont. Milburn has his first, and Isaac Stable to the foul line to shoot two. Take a look at the first quarter numbers, kind of finishing up that. Highland two for seven on two point tries in the first for 29%, shooting Claymont three for five for 60%. Highland a perfect four for four for the foul line, and so was Claymont also four for four from the charity stripe in that first quarter. Highland out rebounding Claymont seven to six. Well, there were four turnovers for the Mustangs, two for the Hawks in that first quarter of play. Free throw knocked down by Isaac Slayball, continuing the perfect free throw shooting so far, as he has eight points. Second free throw is up. That's going to be knocked down as well. Slayball has nine first half points, 18-15 Highland. Slayball came in as the 53% free throw shooter, averaging just over six a game and two and a half rebounds. Claymont basketball down by three. Here's the dribble at center circle by Braden Mooneyham. He'll dribble it to the left wing. His three-pointer going to be up, going to be well short of the rim. Rebound grabbed by Pavic, kicks it back out top. Drive by Lynch, is shot up, going to be no good, but he drew a foul. Connor Lynch will step to the foul line to shoot two. That's going to be the 15th foul on Highland in this first half. Connor Lynch, as I mentioned, the junior point guard, did not play against the Hawks the first time around. And as I mentioned, the foul will be called actually on Grant Miller, his second personal foul. That free throw up, going to be knocked down. Lynch has his first point tonight. Grant Miller now checks out. Dylan Weaver is in. Both these teams have figured out how to shoot free throws. Still perfect here, <laughs> here in this gym. Looking very good so far. Stay tuned immediately following the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. Brought to you by Rhodey's Hodge Game Marketplace. And it'll be Eric Marmot reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. Lynch knocks down the second one as well. He has two points. And now Claymont has pulled to within one at 18-17. Hawks with the basketball. Will Slayball into the front court. Dribbles to left point. Pass inside. Back to Courtney Isaac Slayball. He has it knocked loose away from him and stolen away by Rick Tannis, the third Highland turnover. Here's Lynch across the timeline. Pass goes right wing to Milburn. Milburn to the baseline. 50 footers up and good. Brady Milburn now has six first half points and now a 19-18 claim on advantage. He's three for four from two point range. That was great there. Nice sidestep to set that one up. Here's Isaac Stable. Kick it out top to Dylan Weaver. Weaver to the foul line. Lobs it into the corner to Will Stable. Stable to the baseline. He's cut off. Takes the left wing, Tony Yoder. Drive to the lane. Knocks loose and drives after it. Stolen away by Claymont. That'll be the fourth turnover on the Hawks. Here's Lynch to the front court on the left wing. Looking. Pass out top goes to Murphy White. 19 18 Claymont nearing the five minute mark of the second quarter. White bounce pass goes to the right point area to Milburn. Holds onto it. Guarded by Tony Yoder. Milburn to the baseline. His shot up going to be good off the glass. Brady Milburn has 8.6 in the second quarter. Claymont has a three-point lead. Hawks basketball. Here's Will Stable with it into the front court. Pass goes right wing to Weaver. Weaver to the baseline on the drive. He's cut off. Kicks it over to Ryan Miller. Out top to Isaac Stable. Kicks the left wing back to Will Stable. His three-pointers up in the air going to be in and out. No good. Rebound by Ryan Miller. Dribbles it. He'll put it back up off the glass and good. Ryan Miller has four. Highland down by one at 21-20. Ryan Miller already up to five rebounds in this one. Three on the offensive end. He's been important for this team so far. Mustangs with the basketball. Here's Connor Lynch walking it slowly across the timeline. Dribbles it down high on the left. Bounce pass goes to the far side. Received by Milburn. His cross-court pass back, uh, back to Lynch on the right wing. Now into the corner. Received by Rectanus. Looking. Shovels the right point back to Connor Lynch. Lynch looking. Hands it off now to Milburn. He'll dribble it, working it against Tony Yoder. Shovels it out top back to Connor Lynch. Lynch holds onto it, shovels the left point. Now received by Murphy White. Around the perimeter it goes for the Mustangs. Murray dribbles it out top, and he'll back it up near that midcourt line. Now it dribbles it past Isaac Stable to the lane. Layup by White going to be no good, but he drew a foul. Murphy White navigating through that Highland defense, and he'll go to the foul line to shoot two more free throws. The 16th foul on the Hawks in this first half. And I was curious who was going to end up picking up that foul because it seemed like about three Highland players could have been called for reach-ins on that one. Nice move by Murphy White through the defense. They're going to give it to Will Stable, his second personal. And White sets and fires on the first attempt. It's going to be up and going to be knocked down. Murphy White now has seven first-half points and make it five for five 
from the charity stripe. Who else? Dave Ball, of course, will have a seat with the two personal fouls. Ryan Miller is also out. Reminder of the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game as that player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subways in Millersburg. Hayden Miller, Dylan Weaver, also Grant Miller, Tony Yoder, and Trey Troyer on the floor for the Hawks. Second free throw by Murphy White is up in and out. No good. First missed free throw tonight. Rebound grabbed by Tony Yoder. Highland basketball, they trail by two. Grant Miller has it across the half-court line. Miller calls out the play. Pass goes to Weaver on the left wing, Tony Yoder. Looking, dribbles it, pass out top to Weaver. Weaver, pass to the corner, goes to Trey Troyer. Out top over to Grant Miller, left wing to Tony Yoder. Shovels it out top, Grant Miller, his three-pointers up, are going to be no good. Rebound pulled down by a leaping Murphy White. Mustangs basketball up by two, White across the half-four line. Dribbles the right wing against Trey Troyer. Nice look inside, he'll find his teammate Corey Edwards, who missed the shot, but he's going to be hacked to the arm in the process. And that'll be the seventh team foul. Now on Highland, I believe that foul called on Tony Yoder. That would be his first and two free throws for junior Corey Edwards. Nice tricky little pass there from Murphy White with the no look as he sent it down low for his teammate. Good pass. Edwards looking for his first point tonight. It will be up, and that will be indeed knocked down. 23-20 advantage for Claymont. At Kime, you can shop in-store, place an order for delivery, or come to the yard and pick up your order without lifting a finger. Plus, you can now place orders for Local Express online at Kime.Express. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Both three throws are good by Edwards. He has two, and going to be... I'm sure what, the whistle blown by the official. Highland's going to have to take the ball out here at side court. And it looks like Isaac Schleyball going to have to... Check out here. Now he is checking in in place of uh, Tony Yoder. He's going to have to check out. Embedded to Grant Miller. Hawks basketball trailing by four. Nearing the three-minute mark of the second quarter. Pass goes to Kata Miller out top to Weaver. Weaver dribbles it. Shovels the left wing. Trey Troyer. Back in the near side corner to Grant Miller. Out top now to Dylan Weaver. Weaver dribbles the left wing. Backs it up. Hands it off to Isaac Stable. He'll dribble to the foul line. Nice look inside, Caden Miller. Miller from the right block is shot up in good. Caden Miller has his first two. Highland is back to within two. Yeah, nice move by Caden Miller there. Just back the defense down just a tad. Able to get enough distance and sinks it. 2.40 to play in the half. Mustangs basketball. Connor Lynch across the half four line. Spins around. Pass goes right wing. Received by Corey Edwards. His pass to the right block goes to Pavic. Pavic to the baseline. Working against Caden Miller. Head fake. Nice move. Shot goes high in the air. Going to be no good, but he will draw a foul. Pavic working really hard inside on the move against uh, Caden Miller and Felling drew that foul. That'll be the eighth team foul on the Hawks in this first half, and I believe Caden Miller, his first personal foul. Yeah, Isaac, <laughs> Isaac Slayball stepped in there to try to help out as well, and Gavin Pollock, or Pavic, what a move down there, down low. He was determined to uh, take that ball to the, the basket. That's going to be up and no, no good on the first attempt by Gavin Pavic, as he had two points in that earlier meeting this season against Highland for the senior and has one more to go. He has three points so far tonight. A three-pointer he knocked down from the corner in that first quarter. This free throw's up. That's going to be no good. Missed them both. Rebound by Isaac Slayball. Highland ball down by two. Two and a half to play in the half. Here's Grant Miller at center circle. Pass to the right wing goes to Caden Miller. Miller dribbles it to the baseline. Backs it in. Lost it. Picks it back up. Pass goes to Isaac Slayball now high on the right. His cross score pass to Grant Miller. Back in the corner to Weaver. His three pointer's up, going to be no good. Rebound chased down by Murphy White. White across the half world line for Claymont. On the right wing. Dribbles it to the baseline. White to the bucket. Reverse layup, going to be no good. Rebound by Caden Miller. And couldn't quite corral it, however. Goes out of bounds. So bad break for the Hawks there. And it will be Claymont basketball. As now checking in Ryan Miller. And replacing Caden Miller. And then also Tony Yoder replacing Isaac Stable. Of course, right now leading scorer Will Stable on the bench with two personal fouls. Two minutes to play, first half. Highland down by two. Murphy White to inbound, but he threw him backboard for Claymont. His pass goes over to Brady Milburn. Milburn shot inside the paint, going to be up in. No good from 10 feet away. Rebound ripped down by Tony Yoder. Here's Grant Miller across the timeline. His pass goes to Weaver on the right wing. Weaver to the baseline. His layup off the glass and good. Dylan Weaver has four. Highland has tied this game up at 24 apiece. Six tie in the first half. Claymont basketball. Here's Brady Milburn across the timeline working against Tony Yoder. Milburn shovels the left wing back to Corey Edwards. 
holds on to it. Edwards looking, dribbles it to the corner, pass it inside, but up before travel is going to be called on Edwards, and that'll be the fifth Claymont turnover in the first half. Get total service for your jewelry at the jewelry store with a free cleaning and inspection, and all the repairs are done right in their showroom at the jewelry store, 97 West Jackson Street in historic downtown Millersburg. Tie ball game at 24 apiece. Hawks basketball, Trey Troyer has it. Will Stable still on the bench with two personal fouls. Troyer dribbles it to the right wing, 117 to play in the half. Now pass goes to Weaver on the right block. Backs it in, Weaver shot up, going to be good. Dylan Weaver, two straight baskets, he has four points, and Highland has a two-point lead. What a great move by Dylan Weaver there, down in the post, still able to sink it for two from the left block. Fourth lead change of the second quarter. Into the quarter, three-pointer by Millward, it's going to be up and no good. Melbourne missed it from three-point distance, it goes out of bounds after that missed, and it will be Highland basketball. 56 seconds to play in the second quarter. Highland with the ball on the back baseline, up 26-24. Inbatted to Trey Troyer, as he'll walk it across the half-court line. Dribbles it to the left wing. His bounce pass goes to Weaver. Weaver dribbles it to the baseline. Drive. Lay up by Weaver, and lost it, actually, and deflected away, finally stolen away by Claymont. That's the sixth Highland turnover. Now Lynch across the half-court line, guarded by Isaac Slayball. Dribbles at right point. Crossover out top. Lynch comes to a jump stop, looking. Pass inside to Mur Murphy White, but stolen away instead by Trey Troyer. His pass in transition to uh, J.J. Miller, but goes off his hands and out of bounds. Turnover on the Hawks, and that'll be their seventh of the first half. 26 seconds to play in the second quarter. Fulker pressure on. Inbound to Murphy White. White dribbles it against Trey Troyer. 20 seconds to play. White across the half goal line. White dribbles it at center circle now. Claymont with the ball down 26-24. Possibly looking for that final shot of the half. Down the nine seconds to play. White dribbles the right wing, seven seconds. Spins around to the lane. Shot up by White, going to be no good, missed everything. Rebound by Ryan Miller. Shovels at the midcourt to Tony Yoder. His shot at the buzzer, going to be no good. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Halftime to score from Claymont. It's Highland 26 and Claymont 24. Back around the recap, the first half for you on WKLM. With tightening budgets and resources, schools face a daunting task these days, providing young people with all they need to equip them for the years ahead. Denko Marketing in Millersburg urges you to support our students and youth in whatever way you can. Whether it's the giving of your time and experience or donating items for use by educators, groups, or clubs, everyone can make a difference. Denko Marketing of Millersburg hopes you're giving back to the young people of today. Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. As you hug the turn, you see a storm brewing up ahead. It could be rain. It could be snow. But whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT Geo 15 on your side. Stop by Homes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all-terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction, designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT Geo 15 at Homes Tire LLC today and get ready to experience what all-terrain is all about. Stop by Homes Tire LLC today and fill out a finding application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Holmes Tire LLC in Millersburg, 330-674-0025 or their other locations in Spencer, 330-648-2401 and Mount Vernon, 740-392-1811. Subway restaurants are introducing new protein bowls. Each one has a footlong's worth of protein, like grilled chicken or steak, piled high on crisp veggies with your choice of sauce. Try great new choices like the Chipotle Southwest Steak and the Sweet Onion Chicken Teriyaki Bowl. And right now, you can go pro with double protein on any bowl or footlong sub for just $2 more. That's twice the chicken or twice the steak for only $2 more, only at Subway. Limited time at participating restaurants, additional charge for extras, plus applicable tax. No additional discounts or coupons may be applied. Looking for an experienced professional pest control company? Hi, this is Roger Bugs McClure with Holmes Pest Control. With over 40 years in the pest control industry and a lifelong resident of Holmes County, Holmes Pest Control can give you the best service by using the best products at the best price. Call Holmes Pest Control 330-674-9094 or visit our website at homespestcontrolincorporated.com. Another home-owned, homegrown, Holmes County business. Professional service with a personal touch. 
stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IGA Marketplace. Get beef shoulder English roast for $3.79 a pound. Pork loin bone and rib chops for $1.79 a pound. Sweet imported red or white seedless grapes for $1.59 a pound. And one pint sweet plum blueberries for $2.49 each. Plus, get Gerber's Whole Fryers for $1.59 a pound, beef loin boneless strip steak for $8.99 a pound, and Butterball 85% lean ground turkey for $2.99. It's all now through Sunday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Middlesburg. It is halftime here from Claymont, and it's a good one that first half as Highland, a two-point lead at 26-24 over the Claymont Mustangs. At first quarter, they went back and forth really through the entire first half. That first quarter had six lead changes and also five ties. Highland had a 14-13 lead after one. Then in the second quarter, it was four more lead changes and also one tie. Highland outscoring the Mustangs 12-11 in the second quarter, and Highland has a 26-24 lead at the half. For Highland in that uh, first half, they were led in the scoring by Isaac Stable. Stable in that first half of action, he would go one for two from three-point distance. That three-pointer he knocked down at the end of the first quarter. Two for two from two-point range and also two for two from the foul line. Isaac Stable had nine first half points for the Hawks. And also just uh, for Isaac Stable, just one point shy already of tying his season high. Also, Tonight uh, in the first half, Dylan Weaver had six points. Weaver in that first half of action with those uh, six points going 0 for 1 on three-point tries, but 2 for 3 from two-point range and 2 for 2 for the foul line. Weaver with those six. Also five points for Will Stable. Did not have any points in the second quarter. He was uh, out with uh, uh, foul trouble with those two personal fouls for a lot of the second period. Four points scored by Ryan Miller and also two for Caden Miller, running up the Highland total of 26. For Claymont leading the way, that was Brady Milburn. Milburn in the first half, 0 for 1 on three-point tries, but 4 for 6 from two-point range for his total of 8 points. Murphy White in the first half was... One for three from two-point range, but also five for six from the foul line as White had seven. Also two points apiece for Connor Lynch as well as Corey Edwards. Three points scored by Gavin Pavic and two for Andrew Rectanus, running up the Claymont total of 24. Halftime score, Highland 26 and Claymont 24. Now for the first half team numbers, here's Brandon Venture. Thank you, Matt. We'll start off with three-point shooting for the home team. The Claymont team there, one of four for 25% from beyond the arc. Highland, two of 12 for 17%. Uh, from the two-point range, Highland shooting 58%, seven of 12, while Claymont shot 50% at six of 12. And in the foul shots, it was Highland six of six for 100%. On the other side, Claymont 9 of 12 for 75%. Both teams shooting well at the foul line. And in the rebounds, the Highland team has 16, Claymont with 11. Yeah, for Highland individually, Ryan Miller had six rebounds. Three came at the offensive end. Two boards apiece for Will Schleyball and Dylan Weaver. And for Claymont leading the way, that was Murphy White as he had four boards and also two boards apiece for Brady Milburn and Gavin Pavic. And as most of the stats have been fairly even, so are the turnovers. Seven for Highland, six for Claymont in this game. Highland with the two-point lead, 26-24 at the half over Claymont. Really an entertaining first half. Oh, yeah, absolutely entertaining. You mentioned all those lead changes just back and forth. Neither team really to get any sort of a, a run going, but they were both just playing good, solid basketball and, and making sure to take their shots as they need to. Smart shots as well for the two-point range, especially both teams shooting great down low, 50 and 58% respectively. Kind of important stretch also at the end of the first half when Will Stable, their leading scorer, had to go to the bench. And Highland, of course, have to find some source of offense here. And they come in there and actually have this lead at halftime. Yeah, it was pretty interesting seeing you know him take that seat so early in that second quarter, but Highland doing a good job of, of working around without him. Uh, Isaac Slayball really stepped up. I feel like he was the big the big reason that they're still in, and now in the lead, like you said. We'll see what happens here in the second half. It's Highland 26 and Claymont 24. Back with the second half after this on WKLM. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse, uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. At Village Motors in Millersburg, we're all about service, literally. This is Deke Miller, and our service department will help you take care of your investment in a new or pre-owned vehicle. Trained and professional, our service staff cares about your vehicle as much as you do, and their workmanship will keep it in tip-top shape or fully repaired if needed. 
Find out what full service really means when you trust us, the people who care about you, Village Motors in Millersburg. You're ready for college, ready to make the next step towards a better future. But putting your life on hold while you earn a degree just isn't for you. At Wayne College, you can pursue your degree and achieve your goals while staying in the community you know and love. Wayne College offers two- and four-year degrees that can save students up to 30% in tuition. Join us at the University of Akron Wayne College, where student success comes first. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. Promotion Therapy offers outpatient and home physical and occupational therapy. Locally and privately owned and operated, Promotion Therapy takes tremendous pride in making your therapy experience a success. We have taken all the extra precautions this year in making sure our clinic is sanitized and our therapists are fully equipped to treat you safely. Whether it's in our clinic or in your home, we will do everything we can to ensure you feel comfortable and confident in your care. Our clinic is located on South Washington Street, right next to Dairy Queen, or call us today at 330-600-0844. You can also visit us online at promotion-therapy.com. When choosing a new door to replacing your windows or siding, there are many types of materials to choose from. Hi, my name is Nevin Mast. Here at Home Siding in Millersburg, we will help you make the right choice for your home and style. Want an energy-efficient replacement window? Try the Vywinko line of vinyl windows. With energy-efficient technology, Vywinko vinyl windows will save you money on energy costs and over time will pay for themselves. Call Home Siding Contractors today to set up a free in-home consultation at 888-725-6619. That's 888-725-6619. One nine. Proud to serve all your real estate and auction needs, RES Auction Services and HER Realtors have been a locally and independently owned real estate and auction company for over 40 years. At HER Realtors, the selling market is strong. If you give them the listings, they had the buyers. Plus, don't forget to check out the new location for RES Auction Services just west of Worcester. Contact HER Realtors at 674-7610 on the web at herrealtors.com or RES Auction Services at 833-765-3737 and on the web at res.bid. Located on Glen Drive in Middlesburg, making a difference one sale at a time. We'll stay ball back out there, Ryan Miller, Trey Sawyer, as well as Grant Miller on the floor for Claymont Murphy White, also Connor Lynch, Cade Watkins on the floor as well. Also Gavin Pavic on the floor. Andrew Rectanus out there as well. Pass goes to the right block to a cutting Will Stable. His shot no good. Rebound knocked out top and received by Grant Miller, but he'll throw it away. Juggled by Wright, and he'll grab it to the front court. Dribbles it to the left wing. Wright. Dribbles it, picks it up, bounce pass to the corner, goes over to Rectanus, his shot's up no good. Rebound going to be knocked away, going to be actually a push-off called on Gavin Pavic, pushing off on the back of Ryan Miller, and it'll be the first team foul on Claymont, and for Gavin Pavic, his second personal foul. Highland basketball on the two-point lead early in this third quarter. Grant Miller across the half-court line, working against Connor Lynch. His pass goes right wing over to Tony Yoder. Now the right block actually intended for Ryan Miller, but kicked instead off the foot of Murphy White. Tony Yoder to inbound for Highland midway into the front court on the near side. His pass goes out top to Ryan Miller on the left wing. Now to Grant Miller. Out top of the pass to Will Stable. Stable to the foul line. His shot up from 10 feet away is good. Will Stable has seven points, his first point since the first quarter. Nice little move for Will Stable. Just found just enough space right in the paint there, able to get two points. Four-point lead for the Hawks. Claymont basketball. Here's Murphy White into the front court, guarded by Trey Troyer. Dribbles at right wing. 
White hands it off down to the far side to Gavin Pavic. Pavic to the baseline, cut off by Ryan Miller. Backs it in, kicks it out top to White. His three pointers up are going to be no good. Rebound grab by Will Stable. He'll push it across the half goal line. Fast break opportunity. His layup loop off the glass is going to be no good, but a blocking foul is going to be the call on Murphy White. That is the second team foul on Claymont. And Murphy White has his first personal foul, and that means two free throws for Will Slayball. So far tonight, Will Slayball two for two at the foul line here this evening. He has seven points overall. Slayball lines up the first free throw attempt, of course, averaging 18 a game and a 73% free throw shooter. And just over four rebounds per contest. The first free throw is no good, however. Stay tuned immediately following the game for a high school scoreboard on WKOM, brought to you by Rhodey's Odd Game Marketplace as we'll have Eric Marmer reporting on all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. Second free throw, no good as well. Missed them both. Rebound by Brady Milburn. Claymont basketball. Milburn will race it into the front court on the right wing. His pass goes out top now to Connor Lynch. Lynch shovels it in the hands of White. White drives to the lane. Cruz crashing in there. Some contact, but threw it away. Stolen by Highland, the seventh Claymont turnover. Now Grant Miller to the front court. Hands it off of the right wing. Will Stable, his three pointers up, going to be off the mark. Rebound corralled by Cade Watkins. He'll find Milburn now for Claymont, trailing by four into the front court. 6.15 to play in the third. Now to the left wing, back over to Connor Lynch. Dribbles it out top. Lynch on the right point, crosses over to the foul line. Lobs it back to the corner to Watkins. Watkins drive, kicks it out top to Connor Lynch. His three pointers up are going to be knocked down. Connor Lynch has five points, his first three pointer, and Claymont back to within one. Big time shot for Connor Lynch, the player that wasn't here last time, making that big time shot from the, beyond the arc. And now he's got, like you said, five points. And Hawks with it out top to Trey Troyer. Back in the left wing to Will Stabo. Dribbles it to the baseline, spins around. And he'll back it up. Now drive to the baseline, spins around to the lane. His shot up, up going to be no good. Rebound grab by Murphy White. Mustangs basketball down by one. White to the front court, dribbles it to the foul line. Knock loose, picks it back up, and a foul is called by Trey Troyer. Trying to get that steal. That'll be the first team foul on Highland in this third quarter. And Trey Troyer will have his first personal foul. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game as that player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal for the Subways in Millersburg. Will Slayball checking out. Isaac Slayball is in for the Hawks. Claim out to inbound beneath their own backboard. Connor Lynch to do the honors. His pass goes right into the foul line to Gavin Pavic. Now out top of the pass to Brady Milburn. Dumps it inside, deflected out of bounds by Trey Troyer, trying to find Murphy White, but it will be Claymont basketball again. Yeah, Troyer was hoping that the ref didn't see that when he made the contact last, but he saw it, and so they'll keep the ball. Lynch to inbound to the right of the room backboard. His pass goes to the left wing, received by Murphy White. White to the foul line, cut off. Hands it off behind him to Brady Milburn. Dribbles the left wing, Milburn to the foul line, goes crashing in there, and it's going to be a what? A charge. Milburn kind of out of control, trying to go through two guys, and they will call him for the charge. The 13th foul Claymont, Milburn has his second and also the eighth Claymont turnover. Highland has eight also uh, by comparison. Are they reversing that? Oh, uh, apparently it is going to be Claymont basketball. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So Claymont is going to have it. So I'll take that off of Milburn. That pass by Lynch goes out top, received now by Murphy White. And after that play, going to be a whistle blown and an offensive foul called on Claymont off the basketball. So Hawks will end up getting the ball back anyway. And that'll be the 13th foul on Claymont, as it turns out. And call that foul on Milburn. So I guess it just works out the way it's supposed to in the end. <laughs> He'll get a second personal. It'll be... Will Stable's pass right wing to Trey Troyer. Now to Ryan Miller on the right block. He'll back it up. Hicks it out top to Will Stable. His three pointers up. Going to be no good. Rebound slapped away. Fought four. Grabbed under the bucket by Tony Oder. Now to a wide open Isaac Stable. His three pointer from the corner. No good. Rebound fought four and it'll be a foul call. Going after that ball, Ryan Miller was going after it along with Gavin Pavic. They'll call Ryan Miller for the push off. Second team foul in Highland. And for Ryan Miller, that'll be his second personal foul. 28-27 Highland, under five minutes to play, third quarter. Full court pressure is on, inbounded to Murphy White. Dribbles it against Trey Troyer in the backcourt. White dribbles it across the half-court line, takes it high on the left. Now at center circle, his pass goes into the hands of Connor Lynch, high on the right side. Lynch working against Isaac Stable to the baseline. Cross-court pass to the other corner, goes to Brady Milburn. His pass thrown away, stolen by Ryan Miller. Now to Tony Yoder. 
Yoder with the fast break. His layup going to be off the glass. No good. Rebound by Ryan Miller. His putback is no good. Rebound slapped away and finally chased down by Connor Lynch. Hawks not able to take advantage on that play. Now Lynch on the other end. His drive to the bucket. His layup no good. But a charge will be called this time as he ran into Ryan Miller. That'll be the 14th foul on Claymont. Lynch has his second. Now Claymont up to 10 turnovers here on the night in their fourth of the third quarter. Ryan Miller doing a lot of important work for this Highland team as he got that offensive board just at the other end of the uh, basket. He had four rebounds there offensively, up to seven already overall, and now pulling that charge. He's been looking good out there tonight. Looking, doing the dirty work as he typically does for this Hawk team. 28-27 Highland. Still, they had the ball. Four minutes to play in the third quarter. Grant Miller, pass goes left wing to Will Schleyball. Back in the ball game. End of the quarter now to Ryan Miller. Back to Will Schleyball to the baseline. He's cut off. Picks it up, double team, pass out top, and stolen away by Milburn. Milburn to the basket, falls down, and I think they're going to call a foul on Grant Miller, who's kind of in disbelief because I think he just kind of lost his footing. Yeah, I don't think it was his fault that he fell down, but it did look like he reached over and made some contact. Maybe I guess that was enough, but uh, yeah, he, he was not happy with that one. Fourth team foul on Highland here in this third quarter. So Grant Miller will pick up his third personal foul. Brady Milburn at the charity stripe. The senior had 14 points in that first meeting against the Hawks. Free throw here is going to be up. That's going to be knocked down. Milburn does have nine points so far tonight. Trey Troyer and, of course, replacing Grant Miller. Thompson Memorials just a mile west of Millersburg on State Route 39. A full-service monument company. Best wishes to all the area teams from Thompson Memorials. Second free throw by Milburn is up and good. Makes them both. Milburn now has 10. Timeout called, 3.53 to play in the third, a 29-28 Claymont lead. This is IVC Basketball on WKLM. Sally, you need a root canal. Traveling, you need your wisdom teeth out. Traveling, you need braces. Traveling, you need a dental implant. Traveling, you need your teeth cleaned. Traveling! That's it, Happy Feet. You're benched until you start going to Dr. Welsh for your dental care. Quit traveling so much. Yes, Coach. I'll check out their website at www.drbradwelsh.com and give them a call at 330-674-4876. Good luck to all area winter sports teams. Insurance needs, call the Shreve office at 567-2626 or the Berlin office at 893-2446. Highland basketball out of the timeout. Pass goes to the right wing to Dylan Weaver. Weaver to the baseline. Cut off. Double team on the right block. And he'll throw it away. Into the front court. Here's Murphy White on the fast break. Drive to the bucket. Is layup off the last. Going to be no good rebound to Ryan Miller. Then Isaac Stable. He'll take it across the timeline. Stable's pass behind him to Will Stable. Drive to the baseline. And his pass goes cross court to the other corner to Trey Troyer. His three pointers no good. Rebound now to Cade Watkins. And he'll be fouled by Isaac Stable. And that for Highland will be their 15th foul. Isaac Stable going to pick up his first personal foul tonight. Probably not the foul you wanted to give up right there at the other end of the, of the court. But like you said, just one for Isaac Slayball so far this evening. 3.18 to play in the third. One point advantage for the Mustangs up 29-28. And they had the ball in that backward area. Inbounded into the hands of Murphy White, guarded by Trey Troyer. Mur Murphy White across the timeline. Dribbles it in. It's in the circle. Now pass left wing to Milburn. Cross court pass to White. White jab step on the right wing. His pass goes inside the paint, deflected away, grabbed on the ricochet in that right wing by Watkins, and the foul's going to be called. Yeah, it looked like in the scrum for that one, maybe a finger got into the eye of uh, the Claymont player because he's uh, gone down holding his face here. Yeah, Keith Watkins, the junior, going to put the jersey over his face there, so see if he'll have to come out here. Right now, Coach uh, Gary Watkins kind of Taking a look at him. It looks like he indeed will have to check out. Those inadvertent eye pokes are no joke. Those, those are very painful. Absolutely. Cannot feel good. And getting set to check in here. It's going to be Bryce Murray, the sophomore, to replace uh, Cade Watkins. Came off to inbound to the left of the room backboard. White's pass to the corner goes to Bryce Murray. His pass goes right to the foul line to Milburn. He'll back it up now to the right wing. Milburn has the poke loose, gets back to it. Now works it against Isaac Stable, drive to lane. His layup going to be good, but a foul call before taking that shot. And that's going to be the 16th foul 
on Highland coming in this uh, third quarter of action. Isaac Stable has his second. Yeah, those are adding up pretty quickly here for the Highland team. I want to give Milburn credit, though. That was an impressive go to the bucket after that penalty as well. Pass right wing goes to Bryce Murray. Now to Milburn. His three-pointers high in the air. Going to be off the mark. Rebound grabbed by Will Stable. Highland basketball, they trail by one. Two and a half to play in the third quarter. Will Stable's pass goes to Weaver. Left wing now to Isaac Stable. Fumbles it, picks it up, out top to Weaver. Weaver to the foul line, lobs the right wing to Trey Troyer. Back to Isaac Stable, fumbles it again, grabs it. On the left wing, back to Will Stable. Back to Isaac Stable, drive to the lane, to the bucket. His layup off the last, he's going to be no good. Rebound put back, no good by Ryan Miller. Rebound grabbed by Isaac Stable now. Hicks the left corner now. Back to Will Stable, out top to Weaver. His three-pointers up are going to be good. Dylan Weaver with that bucket. He has nine points, his first three-pointer tonight. Yeah, he's one for two from beyond the arc. What a nice shot by Dylan Weaver. Though. That looked perfect. And Highland back in the lead at 31-29. to 29. Second lead change to the third quarter. And into the front court, here's Murphy White. Picks it up. He's double teamed. Lobs it to the far corner. Grabbed by Pavic to the baseline. Who's crashing inside. Gets called for the charge. Bring it in to Ryan Miller. That'll be the 15th foul on Claymont. And Gavin Pavic has his third personal foul and also the 11th turnover on the Mustangs. One of the easier calls for the referees here tonight. Great job by Ryan Miller to get set. Don't let your home be without power. Call Holmesville Electric, your local Generac automatic standby generator dealer. Holmesville Electric has factory certified technicians and carries the full line of parts and service kits for all your Generac needs. Call 330-279-4522. Ryan Miller to the bucket. goes crashing in there. He'll get called for the charge and ran into Gavin, actually this time actually ran into Brady Milburn, but either way, of the offensive foul, the 17th foul on Highland, and Ryan Miller will have his third personal foul, really just solid defense on both sides. Absolutely, solid defense, and Brady Milburn there, he continues to show how quick he is. He was able to get into that spot and get set very quickly there to drag, pull that charge out. 12 lead changes in all tonight, and that is combined with six ties. Full court pressure is on by Highland, Claymont with the basketball trailing by two. With the basketball on the dribble is Murphy White at three-quarter score. Now across the timeline, double team. Pass goes to Rectanus. Now on the drive is Bryce Murray. His layup no good, but it'll be called for the charge again. And drawing it this time, Dylan Weaver. That time the 16th foul on Claymont. And Murray, his first personal foul. Now with the 12 turnovers on the night. Both these teams doing such a good job of getting down low, getting set, and not allowing those fast drives to the bucket. 120 to play in the third. Highland ball again, up by two, 31-29. Will Stable, pass goes to Caden Miller on the left wing. Entry pass to Isaac Stable on the right block, drives to the lane. His day off the glass, gonna be no good. Rebound, hold in by Corey Edwards. Mustangs basketball. Here's White to the front court, dribbles it out top. Pass goes right corner. Now the right block goes to Edwards. Edwards fumbles it, throws it away. Stolen by Will Stable. His pass goes to the front court to Weaver on the right wing. Thought about it, dribbles it instead. He should have shot it because he gets called for traveling. And that'll be the 12th turnover on Highland. Yeah, just a tough break there for the Highland team. Weaver was in a good spot, had the open shot, instead elected to pass it up, but ends up with the turnover. Stop in for the Start Something New sales event and get $2,750 in bonus cash plus 500 Chrysler Capital bonus cash on select 2021 Jeep and Grand Cherokee models at Village Motors in Millersburg. Mustangs with the basketball, 48 seconds and counting, third quarter. Down by two. And with the dribble, here's Mooneyham, pass to the right wing. Grabbed by Rectanus. Back on the right block to the Connor Lynch. Lynch, double team, pass across the lane. Nice look, goes over to Corey Edwards who banks it up and in. Edwards has four, we're tied up at 31. Yeah, first shot for Edwards from the floor, but a good one there after the nice pass. 25 seconds in counting, third quarter. Hawks with the basketball, maybe looking for that final shot of the third. Will Stable's pass goes over to Weaver, back to Stable in front of that midcourt line. Down to 15 seconds to play in the third. Stayball with it. Now the 10 seconds to go. Nine seconds. Stayball to the left wing. Dribbles it. Stayball backs it in. Kicks it out top to Keenan Miller. Back in the left corner now to Tony Yoder. On the left block goes to Weaver. His shot up going to be good. Weaver knocks it down as time expires in the third quarter. Through three. Highland 33 and Claymont 31. This is IVC Basketball and WKLM. This is Wyatt Miller reporting live from Millersburg Tire Service. Wyatt, this isn't actually live. This is a commercial for Millersburg Tire Service. Oh, sorry about that, Grandpa. That's okay. Just read the script. 
Winter is on the way. That means you need the best tires from the best tire shop around at Norsberg Tire Service. They have Bridgestone Blizzak tires that are totally awesome on ice and snow. Plus, winter is great because when it gets really bad outside, I get to stay home from school. I'm not sure that last part was in the script. I know. I added that. All right. This is Brad Smucker. While Wyatt gets back to schoolwork, I invite you in to Mellersburg Tire Service on State Route 39 east of Mellersburg. Call 674-1085 today. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. Each team scoring seven points in that third quarter of action already for the fourth, and Claymont will have the basketball. It'll be Lynch into the front court. His pass goes left wing to Milburn. Pass inside goes to cutting Corey Edwards, who banks it up and in. Corey Edwards now has six. We're tied up at 33. Highland basketball, Grant Miller across the half-court line. Dribbles it at center circle. Miller surveys it. Pass left wing to Weaver. His three-pointer high in the air. Going to be good. Dylan Weaver on fire here in the second half. He has 14 Highland, a 36-33 lead. Will Slayball able to drag the defender away from him that time and a great shot by Dylan Weaver. Playball basketball. Here's Lynch across the timeline being guarded tightly by Grant Miller on the right wing. Now picks it up. Nowhere to go with it. Nowhere to open. And finally, a timeout will be called. They'll keep it right here. Looking at the third quarter numbers courtesy of Brandon Mentor, Highland was 1 of 5 on three-point tries for 20% shooting. Claymont was 1 for 3 for 33%. Highland 2 for 9 for two-point range for 22%. Claymont 1 for 3 for 33%. Highland 0 for 2 for the foul line. Claymont was 2 for 2. While Highland that rebounded Claymont 10 to 6 in that third quarter. Seven turnovers for the Mustangs, five for Highland in that third quarter of play. Still back and forth here, but Dylan Weaver's picked it up here offensively here in the second half. Yeah, he's been a big help for this Highland team, really getting those shots in, and that big time three, that last one was great. Dylan Weaver, the previous week, he had 13 points against Claymont, and another strong performance against the Mustangs tonight. Hawks up by a three, Claymont basketball out of the timeout. Inbound to Rick Tannis, back to Connor Lynch, high on the right. Dribbles it out top against Grant Miller still. His pass handed off to Gavin Pavic on the right wing. Shovels it out top to Lynch. His three-pointer high in the air going to be no good. Partially blocked, I believe, by Grant Miller. Trying to save it, though, was Milburn. Maybe he shouldn't have. And it will be Highland basketball as it goes out of bounds. Hawks will have it up by three. Seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Now Will Stable into the front court. Back in the left wing under the pass to Tony Yoder. Out top to Dylan Weaver. Hands it off to Will Stable. His three-pointer's up. going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Weaver. Weaver picks it back up off the last no good. Rebound juggled. Finally grabbed by Connor Lynch. He'll be called for traveling. Maybe some contact, but no foul. They'll call him from the travel after he got the rebound and fell down. Tough break for Connor Lynch there after battling so, diff so hard for that rebound. So Hawks will inbound it, but he throw him backboard here. Stable's pass goes around the foul line to Weaver. Back in the quarter to Will Stable. His three-pointer's up. It's going to be no good. Rebound, juggled, and out of bounds off the hands of Pothic, who couldn't quite corral it. So Hawks will get another break. And a chance to inbound the ball to the left of their own backboard. Hoping to get some points out of this possession. Will Stable's pass goes over at mid-post area to Ryan Miller. Around the foul line to Weaver. Dumps it inside to Grant Miller, who gets the reverse layup to go. Grant Miller with that bucket. And he has his first two tonight. What an assist on the pass to find Grant Miller streaking down the baseline. And he was able to get it in there with that reverse layup. Fantastic. 38-33 Highland. Pressure on. Double team is, is Lynch. His pass to the front court. Grab now on the drive by Edwards. Goes crashing in there and draws the blocking foul. Shot no good. But he will draw the blocking foul inside on Tony Yoder. The eighth team foul on Highland. Yoder has his second personal foul. And again, junior Corey Edwards to the foul line to shoot two. Edwards tonight is two for two from the foul line, also two for two from the floor here this evening. He has six points in all. And free throw up going to be knocked down. <laughs> Stay tuned immediately following the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you tonight by Rhodey's IGA Marketplace. It'll be Eric Marmot reporting all the scores from around the area all the way until midnight. Second free throw by Edwards. 
That is up, and that is going to be good. Makes them both. He has eight. Highland up by three at 38-35. They had the ball. 6.05 to play. We're in the fourth quarter. Grant Miller into the front court. His pass goes to Tony Oder on the left wing now to Weaver. Weaver out top of the pass to Ryan Miller. Miller drive, kicks it to the corner, received now by Yoder. He'll hand it off to Will Stabal on the right wing. Stabal backs it up to the corner. Picks it up, looking. Pass down to Grant Miller, high on the right, dribbles it to the foul line. Kicks it back to the corner now to Tony Yoder. His three quarters up, in and out, no good. Rebound, fought for, and chased down by Grant Miller over to Weaver. Back to Grant Miller. His three quarters up are going to be good. Well, the hustle pays off. Grant Miller knocks it down from three-point distance from the corner. Highland up by six. Big-time shot by Grant Miller and a great offensive board to set it up. Five straight points by Grant Miller, in fact. 41-35 Hawks. Mustangs had the basketball. Out top of the pass to Corey Edwards. Dribbles it to the foul line. Lane goes crashing in there, and he gets called for the charge. Edwards strong running into Ryan Miller, and that'll be the 17th foul Claymont, and Edwards... Has his first personal foul, also the 16th Claymont turnover. Simply put, if you drive the ball into the basket or somebody there, they're going to be willing to take that charge on both sides. <laughs> yeah, both these teams not afraid at all of the contact down low. They'll take the ball right away as soon as they can get it. Time now called 41-35 Hawks, 5-14 to play. This is IVC Basketball on KLM. For all your heating needs this winter, call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, with combined knowledge of over 65 years, you know that you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs ream and all types of other furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call today, 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Now, more than ever, we are proud to be your hometown pharmacy. You can rely on us to deliver the care and medication you need in the safest way possible. Hi, this is pharmacist Joel Gauss at Premier Pharmacy in Berlin. Our delivery service is available Monday through Saturday, and curbside service is available anytime our doors are open. Masks and hand sanitizer are also currently available for purchase. Just give us a call at 893-0290, or you can refill a prescription online or through our app at premierpharmacy.net and arrange for pickup or delivery. Located on West Main Street in Berlin, Premier Pharmacy, your community pharmacy. Pass goes left wing to Grant Miller. Miller to the baseline drive. If they have off the glass, it's going to be good. And what? I believe call him for the charge. As he ran into Murphy White, and indeed it will be a charge. Good drive by Grant Miller, but again, another charge this time taken by Claymont. And it'll be the 19th foul on Highland. And Grant Miller has his fourth personal foul. Just as he was getting hot, he'll have to check out with the four personals, and Trey Troyer is in. Yeah, he was trying to make that seven straight here for Grant Miller <laughs> scoring, but couldn't quite get that one after the charge. 13 turnovers on the Hawks now. Murphy Y has it for the Mustangs, down 41-35. Five minutes to play. White to the front court. Dribbles it down to the right wing. Spins around to the lane. White shot up, going to be off the last, and no good rebound grabbed by Dylan Weaver. Now to Trey Troyer to Will Schleyball, who dribbles it across the half-court line. Cross-court pass deflected and threw it right into the left shoulder and stolen by Murphy White. And White goes at the other direction, have it knocked loose and out of bounds, but it'll stay with Claymont. And the Mustangs will have it with four and a half to play in this fourth. Murphy White's been a little bit quiet here in the second half, but he's been impressing me the entire game, the way that he plays the basketball game. He's, he plays hard and, and plays well for this team. Seven points for him on the evening. Looking for those first points zero in the second half at play. Half pass to White on the right wing. Spins around to the baseline. He'll be cut off. Looking, looking. Pass to a cutting Brady Milburn. His shot up going to be no good. Rebound hauled in by leaping Ryan Miller. Now Will Stable across the half goal line. Hands it off to Ryan Miller on the right wing to Weaver. Weaver dribbles it. He'll back it up between the circles. Pass over to Will Stable. Left wing now on the pass to Trey Troyer. Al top to Will Stable to the foul line. Lane, layup off the glass, going to be good. Nice drive and bucket. Will Stable, he has nine. Highland up 43 to 35. Mustangs basketball. Here's Connor Lynch across the timeline. His pass goes over to Murphy White. White on the right wing, dribbles it. Takes it right wing, spins around to the foul line to the lane. Has the poke loose, but a reaching foul going to be called, I believe, on Will Stable. The 10th team foul on Highland, so double bonus the rest of the way. And that would be Will Stable's third personal foul. And Murphy White to the foul line to shoot two free throws. 
I think they're actually hitting oh. Trey Troyer with that one. He might have been in front of him there. So we'll get him for the foul, his third personal foul. I'm sure Will appreciates that. Absolutely. Free throw up, going to be knocked down by Murphy White, who now has his first point of the second half. He has eight points in all tonight. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Subway player of the game as that player receives one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subways in Millersburg as Graydon Mooneyham, the sophomore, checking in, replacing Corey Edwards for Claymont. Second free throw up, no good by White. Rebound knocked up for the air, grab by Brady Milburn. And he'll have it uh, tied up. I believe we're going to call a foul. And it will be a foul called on Highland instead, so two free throws because of the double bonus. And Trey Troyer just picked up his fourth there with that one. So Milburn stepping to the foul line as Milburn does have 10 points in all this evening for the senior. And this is exactly what Claymont wants. The, the time stopped. They're making some points. They're also adding fouls to these players that are so important to Highland. This is exactly what they need to do. Try to get back in this ball game. That free throw, however, is no good on the first attempt. Isaac Stable is in as Trey Troyer with the four personal fouls checks out. Isaac Slayball along with Dylan Weaver, Ryan Miller, Will Slayball, and Tony Oder on the floor for Highland. Second free throw attempt by Milburn. Will be up, and that will be good. Splits a pair. He has 11 points. 43-37 Highland. Will Slayball across the timeline, 340 to play. Slayball at center circle. Gets a pass to the right wing and in the hands of Tony Oder. Into the corner to Ryan Miller. He'll back it in. Miller to the paint, spins around. His shot off the glass going to be no good. Rebound going to be pulled down by Murphy White. He'll have it for the Mustangs across the timeline. White's pass goes out top to Lynch. Lynch dribbles at left point, spins around, picks it up, looking. Still looking, nobody open. And going to be a timeout called by Claymont with 3-11 to play. Fourth quarter, Highland is up 43-37. to This is IVC Basketball on WKLM. I'm Tiffany. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Holmes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. It's four defensive so far in this one. And Claymont to win Bennett into the hands of Braden Moodyham back to Murphy White on the left wing to Milburn. Cross court pass to White. Dribbles it to the foul line. Backs it up against Isaac Stable. His pass goes to the corner now to Lynch. Lynch to the baseline. Nice drive. His layup going to be up. No good, but he drew a foul. Good drive along that right baseline by Connor Lynch. That'll be the of course, for Highland already 10 team fouls anyway. Two free throws here for Lynch. That foul called on Will Stable, his third. Lynch so far tonight, two for two from the foul line. And the junior point guard has five points in all. Free throw up, going to be knocked down. Stop by Buckeye Farm and Garden for your farming and construction needs. Across from Holmes Lumber off of State Route 39 and at BuckeyeFarmandGarden.com. Second free throw up and knocked down as well by Lynch. He has seven, 43-39 Highland. Three minutes to play. Here's Will Stayball across the half-court line. Stayball directing traffic out top. Working against Murphy White. Bounce pass to Tony Oder on the right wing. Out top to Isaac Stayball. Back on the right wing to Weaver. Weaver holds onto it. Dribbles it. Shovels it out top. Ryan Miller. Left wing now to Will Stayball. Dribbles it to the top of the key. Back near midcourt. Lobs it now to Weaver high on the right side. Weaver drives to the baseline. Backs it up to the corner. His pass now to Tony Yoder high on the right. Cross score pass to Will Stable. Stable drive to the corner. Spins around. Takes the left wing. Hands it off to Weaver out top. Back to Will Stable on the right point. Stable on the right wing. Dribbles it to the baseline. 
His pass out off to Isaac Stable. His three-quarters up going to be no good. Rebound chase down, however, to the opposite quarter by Weaver. Weaver drive goes crashing inside and gets called for traveling. Kind of lost his footing. And he'll get called for the travel. Highland has their 15th turnover now tonight. And we mentioned how back and forth this game has been. A big defensive game and both teams pretty even there in turnovers. Claymont is 16 by comparison. Grant Miller is back in with his four personal fouls. We're placing Dylan Weaver. Claymont basketball trailing by a fourth, 2.05 to play. Here's Mooneyham across the timeline, guarded by Will Stamall. Dribbles in that center circle. Takes it high on the right side. Mooneyham still with the basketball of the dribble, out top. Still with it to the foul line. Finally hands it off to Connor Lynch. Lynch guarded by Grant Miller, spins around, drive, lane. Layup by Lynch, no good rebound by Grant Miller. Lynch. Looks like he's in some pain after that shot. And finally, a whistle blown by the official on the injury on the other end for Claymont. Maybe a cramp. 140 to play in the fourth quarter. They will attend to the injured player. 43 to 39 lead for Highland. We'll take this time out. This is IVC Basketball on WKLM. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MEB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. At Mac Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mac Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mac Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. I'm Jeff Kinney, and I'm a Park National Banker, a husband and a volunteer. At Park National Bank, we believe we're more than just our job titles, and you're more than an account number. Now bringing our family of community banks together under a single brand name means you get those core values you've always counted on from us, and more service, more access, and more options. We're all together now at Park National Bank, where you mean more. promising here for, for the Mustangs. That's certainly a key guard that they would lose here down this final stretch. 140 to play in the fourth quarter. Highland has the basketball as they're up 43 to 39 to win battle for Highland midway into the front court on the near side will be Tony Oder. He's out there with Grant Miller, Ryan Miller, Will Schleyball as well. And embedded in the hands of Will Schleyball. Isaac Schleyball also out there. Schleyball on the right wing. Pass goes out top to Ryan Miller. Picks it up looking. And finally hands it off to Grant Miller. Miller on the right point. His pass goes to Tony Yoder between the circles. Yoder going to be fouled on the reach in by Corey Edwards. And that'll be the 18 foul on Claymont. Edwards will have a second personal foul. So Claymont electing the foul early here, down by four. And that'll put Tony Yoder to the foul line. Tony Yoder, a 70% free throw shooter on the season. The six foot junior, averaging just over two a game and just over three rebounds per contest. Yoder has not scored tonight, so certainly Claymont putting the guy on the foul line that has not scored and taking their chances here. Yoder sets and fires. The free throw is up. Going to be in and out. No good. Rebound going to be hauled in by Mooneyham. He'll take it across the timeline. Claymont trailing by four. Now to Murphy White out top. Dribbles it, spins around to the foul line, and a reach-in foul called on Isaac Schleyball. Not what you want when you have 10 team fouls, and Isaac Schleyball will have his third personal foul, and now two free throws for Murphy White. Yeah, yeah, that was a tough break, and you can see some of the Highland players kind of having a chat with Isaac Schleyball, just saying, hey, man, we got to make sure we're watching out on these ones. We can't be sending them to the line all the time. Stop by Southside Quick Lube and ask for a Quaker State oil change. For performance you can count on, Quaker State, the power to reduce friction. However, Claymont unable to capitalize on the first free throw as Murphy White misses the first one. He'll have one more to go. He is 6 of 9 on the evening from the foul line. Has 8 points in all, but just 1 point the second half for Murphy White. The senior lines up the second free throw attempt. And that will be up, and that will be in and out. No good. Missed to both. Rebound to Ryan Miller. 
Island ball up by four. Here's the dribble across the timeline by Will Stable. Dribbles it out top. Hands it off behind him to Weaver. He'll be fouled by Murphy White. His second personal foul. Nine team fouls now on the Mustangs. And this time it'll be Weaver to the foul line to shoot the one and one. Dilla Weaver does have 14 points in all for the Hawks. There's also two for two from the line this evening. That is two points away from tying his season high. So he could tie that. Well, don't tell him right that right here. now. That, that's the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Sets and fires it up in the air. It's going to be good. Got the roll. Shooter's touch right there. Now he's up to 15. Weaver, 6-1, junior averaging eight a game. 62% free throw shooter and three rebounds per contest as well. Second free throw up in. That will be no good. Rebound going to be grabbed by Edwards, and he'll be fouled after that rebound. So, again, not the foul you want if you're Highland. They're putting this Claymont team back to the foul line with 101 to play in the fourth quarter. So far, the Mustangs now going to make their free throws here down the stretch, though. Yeah, that's one thing that has been a, a, a good thing for this Highland team is this has been a night where both teams really making a lot of free throws. But as you mentioned, as of late, it's slowed down a little bit for this Claymont team. Weaver, his second personal. Corey Edwards is at the charity stripe. And the free throw is up, and it's going to be good this time. Edwards does have three free throw makes in the fourth quarter. He's up to nine points for the ball game. And he is five for five from the line, so not the player you want to be fouling if you're going to foul anybody. No doubt. 44 to 40 lead for Highland, and a little confusion as to who needs to come out for Claymont. They finally get uh, Graydon Moody's hams uh, attention. He'll check out. One more free throw to go for Corey Edwards. That is up, and that is going to be good as well. Makes them both, and he has 10 points. Highland up by three. They have the ball. One minute to go. Grant Miller working in the backcourt against Connor Lynch. Double team gets a pass off across the timeline to Will Stable. He's double team. Tries to split it, falls down. Lost it, going to be tied up. Hellball arrow does point to Highland. The Hawks going to give it really a huge break that time. Absolutely. Definitely a big time break there for the Hawks. But give credit to Bryce Murray playing some tenacious defense there. Able to get a hand on the ball. Hawks have to be weary of that trap. Tony Yoder. Looking to pass it, he'll do so to Grant Miller. Double team, gets over to Will Stable now. Stable dribbles it across the timeline, double teamed again, and nowhere to go with it, and going to be a timeout called by Highland. 43 seconds to play. Highland 44, Claymont 41. This is IVC Basketball on WKLM. I'm Jeff Kinney, and I'm a Park National Banker, a husband and a volunteer. At Park National Bank, we believe we're more than just our job titles, and you're more than an account number. Now bringing our family of community banks together under a single brand name means you get those core values you've always counted on from us, and more service, more access, and more options. We're all together now at Park National Bank, where you mean more. High School Basketball on Facebook Live is a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications. Will be Tony Yoder to win that here at side court. And Fisher will have a little discussion here between the players. All lining up here to get this inbounds pass. Inbound in the backcourt received now by Grant Miller. Miller dribbles it. Now takes it across the half goal line. He'll take it out top, pass it inside to Ryan Miller. But a foul will be called before that pass is thrown by Grant Miller. So they'll send Grant Miller to the foul line. Double bonus. So it will be uh, two free throws. The rest of the way here for the Hawks. That foul called on Connor Lynch, his third. Grant Miller, this is his first trip to the line this evening. So that worked the last time for Claymont. Uh, take sending uh, Tony Yoder to the foul line, who had not scored. Grant Miller to the foul line for the first time. That free throw up going to be good, however, by him. Grant Miller, a big second half for him. Actually, a big fourth quarter as he's got six points all coming in this fourth. He's also got four rebounds to add to that, too, on the offensive end. 64% free throw shooter for the 5A junior, averaging four and a half a game. Second free throw, no good. Rebound pulled down by Corey Edwards. 45-41 Highland, Claymont basketball, 30 seconds to play. Into the corner to Lynch, drive, lane, layup by Lynch, is good off the glass. Lynch has nine, back to a two-point ball game. Highland up 45-43. to Nice drive of bucket by Connor Lynch. 25 seconds to go, timeout called. This is IVC basketball on WKLM. 
untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call, so you can worry about more important things, like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester today at HummelGRP.com. knows what these situations are all about. They've had a lot of crunch time situations all season long, and once again, they have it tonight. They absolutely have had a lot of very close games. They've had to battle hard for their wins, and like you said, it's been a back-and-forth action here tonight. Connor Lynch was the man who wasn't involved in the last time these two teams met up, and he was able to come back from an injury for a little bit and get back on the floor and make that last shot, an important one for him. And like you said, he has been huge here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, he has uh, nine points tonight, but seven of those nine coming in the second half. For Lynch. Highland basketball against the full court pressure of Claymont. Up by two. Cody Utter to inbound. Does so to Will Stable. Working against Murphy White on the backcourt. Stable dribbles in a three quarter score. Poked away by Murphy White going for the steal, but he gets called for the reach in foul instead. His third personal, and now two free throws for Will Stable. Nine points for him on the night. I believe two for four for yeah, the foul line. Two for four from the line, yep. Made his first two and missed his next two after that. But certainly. A guy you'd like to have in this situation at the foul line, the senior leader for Highland, and a 73% free throw shooter. Free throw is up, going to be knocked down. Yeah, Will Schleyball is a skilled shooter from just about anywhere on the floor. He's up to 10 points now tonight, Will Schleyball, now in double figures for the 13th time this season. 20 seconds to play. Highland up 46-43. One more free throw for Will Schleyball to go. And that is up, and that is going to be in and out, and no good. Rebound, it will be grabbed by Milburn. He'll take it himself across the timeline. 15 seconds to go. Claymont ball down by three. Maybe looking for that last shot to try and tie it up. And the left wing down to Milburn. Eight seconds to go. Dribbles it. Takes it out top. Five seconds. Backs it up. Almost traveled right wing the mill to Murphy White. And timeout called by Claymont. With just 1.8 seconds to go. Not a lot of time on the clock now on that timeout. It looked like Claymont kind of confused trying to figure out where it needed to go. Maybe give Highland some credit defensively on that. But I think uh, head, head coach Watkins kind of realized that calling that timeout. Yeah, I think he was seeing that they weren't finding the shots that they were looking for there. Only two players have made three points, three point shots for Claymont tonight. Connor Lynch and Gavin Pavic. And neither of those two players could get a handle on the ball. And the coach just kind of called the timeout. So let's reset. But like you said, not a lot of time. Did they just add 25? No, nah, they did. But that's not what it was going to be. Okay. So I say, it was at 1.8. That's not a lot. But it is now up to 2.5. So that's a little bit more time to work with. But if you can get that good pass and get the shot off, that's enough time to set and then get the shot off. No question about that. So it is time, as you mentioned, if they can get a quality shot and try and tie this ball game up. It looks like Rick Tannis is going to be checking into the game. 46-43 Highland. Claymont basketball, 2.5 seconds to play. And trying to tie this game up and send us to overtime. Or a Highland win. We'll see. Still come out onto the floor. Gavin Pavic out there. Also Andrew Rectanus, Connor Lynch, Brady Milburn, and also the inbounder will be Murphy White. And of course, Highland known for their defense over the years. This the program always has very tough defense. And right now, looking to get another set here defensively to try to stop this play, but they're going to actually call another timeout to have another chat. After they saw the offensive set, they'll take the timeout. 2.5 seconds to go, 46-43 Highland. This is IVC Basketball on WKLM. Since 1975, Kaufman Realty and Auctions has been an industry pioneer in real estate at auction. This is Anthony Kaufman. Some companies come and go, and some experience ownership changes, but Dave Kaufman has owned and overseen every aspect of his company. During that time, Kaufman Realty and Auctions has grown and expanded to meet increasing customer needs while always staying on the cutting edge of technology and giving back to the community. Rooted in tradition, growing through innovation, we are Kaufman Realty and Auctions in Millersburg, Sugar Creek, New Philadelphia, Cambridge, and at KaufmanRealty.com. The first quarter, four in the second quarter, and also two more lead changes in the third quarter. And that was up to 12 lead changes for the contest in all. And also you tack on on top of that a five, six, seven, eight ties on the night. Uh, it has been quite a ball game here tonight. And we expected a challenge for Highland tonight against this Claymont team. Absolutely. We had said it before the game. This, this Claymont team is much better than their record looks. They've played a lot of teams very close. 
Will Stable, Trey Schwayer, Ryan Miller, Tony Yoder, and also Grant Miller on the floor defensively for the Hawks. Murphy White to win man at four. Claymont needing a three-point basket to tie it up. Looking, looking, looking. Here's the pass off. Now Murphy White three pointer is going to be up and going to be no good at the buzzer. That will do it. And Highland hangs on to get the road victory in IVC play 46 to 43. Embedded it to Rectanus. He got it right back to Murphy White. Took that deep three, but just it's off the mark. Just inside of the out of bounds marker there for Murphy White, but they definitely had some confidence in him trying to shoot that shot. And he didn't have a lot of defensive pressure, but just couldn't quite make it. It's a deep shot, a difficult shot to try to make there as well. So Highland will get this win. They improved the record to 9 and 6 overall. And they're now 7-1 in the IVC South. And of course, improving on their first place record there. Claymont dropping to 2 and 12, 0 and 8 in the IVC South Division. They've now lost uh, three games in a row. Final score tonight from Claymont, Highland 46 and Claymont 43. Back to wrap it up after this on WKLM. This is Jim Smucker, president of Kime in downtown Charm, Ohio, where we have over 135 species of domestic and exotic woods in stock every day. It's no wonder our customers refer to us as a woodworker's paradise. Browse a unique selection of live edge slabs, dimensional lumber, and turning blanks. In our store, you'll find instrument wood and specialty tools to help you get the job done right. We also carry Ecopoxy products, the perfect finishing touch for your next river table. Kind, built on trust since 1911. With unpredictable power outages affecting homeowners more frequently than ever, Generac's best-selling home standby generators are designed to protect your home and family from extended power failures. This is Kerry Taylor inviting you to partner with Millersburg Electric and Generac for a free in-home assessment to identify the right generator for your backup power and financial needs. Power you control with peace of mind from Millersburg Electric, Ohio's premier Generac generator dealer. Call today or visit millersburgelectric.com. This is Wyatt Miller reporting live from Millersburg Tire Service. Wyatt, this isn't actually live. This is a commercial for Millersburg Tire Service. Oh, sorry about that, Grandpa. That's okay. Just read the script. Winter is on the way. That means you need the best tires from the best tire shop around at Millersburg Tire Service. They have Bridgestone Blizzak tires that are totally awesome on ice and snow. Plus, winter is great because when it gets really bad outside, I get to stay home from school. I'm not sure that last part was in the script. I know. I added that. All right. This is Brad Smucker. While Wyatt gets back to schoolwork, I invite you in to Millersburg Tire Service on State Route 39 east of Millersburg. Call 674-1085 today. Stop in all this week for these great deals at Rody's IGA Marketplace. Get beef shoulder English roast for $3.79 a pound. Pork loin bone and rib chops for $1.79 a pound. Sweet imported red or white seedless grapes for $1.59 a pound. And one pint sweet plum blueberries for $2.49 each. Plus get Gerber's Whole Fryers for $1.59 a pound. Beef loin boneless strip steak for $8.99 a pound. And Butterball 85% lean ground turkey for $2.99. It's all now through Sunday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Middlesbrough. Highs and Highland had the two-point halftime lead. Then in the third quarter, each team would score seven points, and Highland had a 33-31 lead through three. Back and forth throughout the fourth quarter, Highland would take a 46-43 lead late. It would be Murphy White who have a three-pointer at the buzzer to try and tie it up, but it would be off the mark. And Highland hangs on to get the three-point win, 46 to 43 over the Mustangs. For Highland, they had two players in double figures, and leading the way, it was. For the Highland, the 6'1 junior guard, Dylan Weaver. As for Weaver on the night, he would go two for three from three-point distance, also three for five from two-point range, and three for four from the foul line. Dylan Weaver had 15 points to lead all scores, one point shy of tying his season high, and also Weaver in double figures for the sixth time on the season as well. Weaver coming up big here for the Hawks. Also in double figures, Will Schlabel. Schlabel was... One for nine from three-point distance, two for five from two-point range, three for six from the foul line. Schlabel had ten points in double figures for the 13th time on the season for him. Just missing double figures, that was Isaac Schlabel, as he was one for three from three-point distance, two for five from two-point range, two for two from the foul line. Isaac Schlabel, nine points, did not score the entire second half, but one point shy of time his season high. Also, six points by Grant Miller. All six points for him came down uh, final stretch in that fourth quarter. Also four points for Ryan Miller and two points scored by Caden Miller, running out the Highland total of 46. 
For Claymont, they had two players in double figures themselves. Leading the way was Brady Milburn. As for Milburn on the night, he would go 0 for 2 on three-point tries, 4 for 6 from two-point range, and 3 of 4 for the foul line. Milburn would finish up with 11 points, but just three in that second half. Also, Corey Edwards in double figures on the night. And for Edwards, he would go 2 for 2 from two-point range, 6 for 6 for the foul line, as Edwards finished up with 10 points, and he was a, a clutch on a lot of free throws. He knocked down the stretch in that fourth quarter as well uh, to help him get that total of 10 points. Also, Connor Lynch, the junior point guard, also big tonight, as Lynch would go 1 for 2 on three-point tries, 1 for 2 from two-point range, 4 for 4 for the foul line. Lynch had 9 points. 7 of those 9 came in the second half. Also, 8 points scored by Murphy White, 3 points for Gavin Pavic, 2 for Andrew Rectanus, running out the Claymont total of 43. Final score tonight, Highland 46 and Claymont 43. Now for the final team numbers, here's Brandon Bitcher. Thank you, Matt. We'll start off with three-point shooting where Highland was 5 of 22 for 23%. Claymont, 2 of 9 for 22%. From two-point range, also an even matchup here. 9 of 20 for Claymont at 45%. Highland, 11 of 26 for 42% shooting. From the foul line, Highland went 9 of 15 for 60%. Claymont, 19 of 26 for 73% at the foul line, getting a lot of points there at the charity stripe. And when we look at the rebounds, Highland out-rebounding Claymont, 36 to 27. And for Highland, leading the way individually, Ryan Miller finished up with 11 rebounds. Six came at the offensive end, and also five rebounds for Dylan Weaver. He had three offensive for the night for Highland, and also for Claymont, leading the way for them. It was uh, Murphy White, who had six boards, and also five rebounds for Grady Milburn. And we look at the turnovers, a pretty even matchup here. Claymont 16, Highland with 15. Highland gets the win 46-43 to over Claymont. And her subway player of the game will go to Dylan Weaver. Weaver, one point shy of tying his season high. He had 15 points, and that's a guy that uh, different times has been another source for offense for Highland. And he's certainly a guy that Highland kind of looks to to provide some points, and he came up big here tonight for the Hawks. He's one of the many players on this team that any night can be the guy that steps up and makes the big shots. And here tonight, he was clutch. He came up big in that second half, making those three-pointers, especially getting those rebounds all in the fourth quarter almost for his rebounds, five of those, and uh, he just had a great great night tonight. Definitely a, an A-plus effort for Dylan Weaver. Dylan Weaver, our Subway player of the game, receiving one complimentary foot-long fresh value meal from the Subways in Millersburg. But you mentioned the offensive rebounds. Of course, Ryan Miller coming up big tonight <laughs> with uh, for him for those ten rebounds, six on the offensive end, and, and Ryan Miller certainly big there, and Highland as a whole really big on the offensive boards this evening. Absolutely. That was where they kind of dominated the game was a lot of offensive boards early on they were really having trouble converting those into points after those second chances, but it's still a good thing for this team. If they can keep the other team from boxing them out and get those offensive boards, I'm sure Coach will like that. Highland good to get another close win for Claymont, and this is a team that, uh, again, gets another loss here. Again, the record doesn't look impressive, but this is the team that I think a whole lot of teams probably want to play come tournament time, as tough as they played pretty much everybody this season. Absolutely. They're a team that, yeah, like you said, if they, if, if they can get to the point where they're peaking as they go into the tournament, you never know who they're going to come up and beat because they're playing all these very good teams very toughly. It's just not quite able to get over that hump to get the victory. And Highland gets this win, 46-43. to Highland now to 9-6 and on the season. They're in first place at 7-1 in the IBC South Division. Their next game will be on Tuesday, a home game. They'll be taking on Coshocton in that game on Tuesday. For Claymont with the loss, dropping the 2-12 and overall. Also 0-8 in the IBC South. They've now lost three straight. They'll play next on Tuesday in a road game, and that'll be against Ridgewood. For us, coming up uh, tomorrow, we'll have uh, actually resting coverage coming your way tomorrow morning. Morning. The night's duels from West Holmes. It'll be on uh, on Facebook Live, as a matter of fact, for that uh, tomorrow. If you want to view that, it'll be about 10 a.m. We'll on for the coverage for that. And also tomorrow afternoon, girls' high school basketball. West Holmes will be at Danville. And that'll be on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com uh, tomorrow. Airtime around 135, tip-off approximately 2 o'clock. That wraps things up for, for us here from Claymont. Special thanks to Eric Marma back at WKLM Sports Central. Also here at Claymont, uh, special thanks to Brandon Bencher, I'm Matt Croy, and also a thanks to Claxton Communications providing our Facebook uh, live coverage as well, and that being uh, Fred Williams and John Williams providing that for you to do the broadcast here for this evening. Again, the final score tonight, and make sure you stick around for a high school scoreboard, I should say. We'll have all the area scores for you every 15 minutes all the way until midnight. And the final score from Claymont this evening, Highland, a winner 46-43 over Claymont. So long, everybody. Thank you for watching High School Basketball on Facebook Live. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.